Here are five of the most unethical psychology experiments ever conducted. For number five, we have the Little Albert experiment. So in the 1920s, psychologists took a nine-month-year-old named Albert and repeatedly showed him a white rat. And while he wasn't afraid of rats to begin with, they would constantly play a loud noise whenever he saw this rat. This caused him to develop a phobia of white rats because he would associate the rats with the loud noise. It also caused him to develop a phobia of all white furry things like rabbits or Santa Claus. So while this study showed how we can learn to fear things through classical conditioning, it was also pretty traumatizing for Albert. As our fourth most unethical study, we have Henry Harlow's monkey studies. In this study, monkeys were raised in captivity, away from their parents. And the monkeys were given two fake mothers. One was a wire mother with a bottle of milk attached to it so the monkey could get food. And one was a soft, cozy cloth mother with no milk. When the monkey was distressed, here you can see the psychologist is trying to scare the monkey with this toy dog. The monkey would always prefer going to the cloth mother. This experiment shows that attachments to parents develop not just because you can get food from them, but also because you can get comfort from them. But again, pretty unethical, not so great for the monkeys. So number three is an experiment conducted about 10 years ago by Facebook. Facebook secretly manipulated the news feeds of more than 700,000 users to either show the more positive content or more negative content in their feeds. Those who were shown more negative content posted more negative status updates, and vice versa for positive content. This experiment caused a huge ethical controversy for potentially harming the mental health of hundreds of thousands of users without their consent, but honestly, tech companies are doing experiments like this all the time with their users. They're probably just less likely to make them public after the controversy that this experiment caused. The fourth study is the infamous Milgram experiment. Participants called teachers were instructed to give learners a memory test, and each time the learner failed a question from this memory test, the experimenter would tell the teacher to give the learner an electric shock. The learner was an actor who would pretend to be in extreme pain from the shocks. Despite this, most teachers would continue to follow the orders of the experimenter, giving the learners up to deadly levels of electric shocks, showing our willingness to obey authority. Number one is the Stanford Prison Experiment. A psychologist randomly assigned college students to either be prisoners or prison guards in a prison simulation. But the prison guards started acting so brutally toward the prisoners that the experiment had to be shut down early. But afterwards, it was discovered that the psychologist was probably coaching the prison guards to behave this way, making this experiment not just unethical, but also bad science. Follow for more about psychology.